On this video, I'm gonna talk all about having two or more VA loans at the same time using your secondary entitlement benefits, uh, and also a 2022 update. Now this, is, this video is gonna be an update to this video here, uh, which got a lot of air, a lot of uh, views and, and comments, as well as a lot of you guys reached out to me personally, and a lot of you guys did become my clients because of it. So I wanted to, wanted to thank you guys. Um, it, it's definitely awesome. Definitely keep them coming, ask the questions, and definitely, you know, if you want to move into Florida, I should do your VA loan. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Emmett Dempsey, mortgage broker and owner of Treasure Coast Mortgage uh, here in Port St. Lucie. Uh, if, if you would, just go ahead and hit a like, a like on this video. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm find more videos like this for people like you. Uh, without further ado, let's, let's go ahead and talk about it. Uh, basically, with the, uh, the VA entitlement, there's a few things I wanted to clear up. Uh, first and foremost, you know, yes, you can have multiple VA loans at the same time. However, the property you're going into has to be the property that you're going to live in. So you can't buy an investment property with a VA loan. VA loans uh, require you to occupy the property within 60 days um, or, uh, you know, or be in violation. So you definitely have to do that. So you might see some other videos, uh, like you're buying a, a, a triplex or fourplex, you move in one unit and then run out the other the three. Technically you're buying investment property with a VA loan, but you, effectively you're occupying one of those properties. So like I said, VA loan is a, uh, is it owner occupied loan only? Uh, so you, the property you're going into has a, needs to be a VA loan. So what I'm going to do now is, is kind of dig in further uh, with, with, uh, with an example, uh, example COE, but how the, the numbers work. So let's go ahead and take a look and let's, and let's go. All right. Um, basically, th this is my little handy dandy VA calculator. And of course, if you want to copy this, definitely you know uh, leave a comment and uh, your email address, and I'll go ahead and send it off to you. But basically, this has has inputs. You know, right now the, the conforming loan limit is six forty seven two hundred. Your basic entitlement thirty six thousand plus your secondary entitlement, um, which changes. So basically, this number here is just this minus your basic entitlement. Okay, so uh, what that means is, you know, this is what you're eligible for. So VA loans have no loan limit due to the. Uh, the, the most recent legislative legislative changes. So if you have full entitlement, there's no loan limit on a VA loan, as you know. However, what happens if you did you know, buy a VA loan and something happens, you have to move in or you wanted to buy another property, different state, you know, so, so that's what matters. Now, this loan limit is is what's for about 90% of the country. Like if you're in California, Virginia, uh, you know, they have, uh, have uh, the jumbo loan limits, um, and this number's going to change. Obviously, it depends on the, on the county you're moving to, and not away from. So this is uh, you know the example. Let's say you know you have charge entitlement. So here's an example of COE. It's, it's uh, redacted. One of my clients here. So let's just say this is how it's going to look. I'm going to pull your stuff for eligibility. I'm going to have some loan number here, and then this is what's going to happen. So this is the entitlement charge. Okay, for whatever reason, this is just an example. All right. So let's just say you know forty three six sixty nine. Let's just put this net number in here, 43,669. So this is the charge entitlement. Now this number here uh, says, here's the purchase price for a second home with no down payment. So you can buy a $472,000 property with no down payment. Okay, that, that's pretty good. But let's just say, all right, so you wanna do a $500,000 property. So what you have to do is 25% is of the difference. Okay, here's the difference, you know, and there's a minimum down payment. So you put a 1% down payment. That's not a bad deal, and even if you wanted to do a you know seven hundred thousand dollar loan, you know it's eight percent down versus you know five percent down conventional, but you can kind of play with these numbers and and you know see what see what it'll be. Um, so overall, you're very good. Also, VA loans, and now also of note, it includes the funding fee. So if you're non-exempt and you have to pay that two point three percent funding fee or, or th the uh, the three point three percent funding fee, uh, that can get pretty pricey, especially on these high purchase prices. So um, I, I I know when I when I did my refi, uh, that funding fee when I saw that on the settlement statement, I was like, whoa. But uh, it definitely goes to a good chart, a good cause, and keeping this program low, low cost for everybody. But you know, so you, you have to take that into consideration. This number here includes a funding fee, um, you know, for that. So you just just play with these numbers, you know, just to see what your down minimum down payment would be. But yeah, you get to keep that property. Let's just say that was another property. You get to keep that, rent it out, buy another property with one percent down. I mean, the VA loan is just amazing uh, for that. So uh, that that's it. And again, if you want a copy of this this worksheet, definitely you should give me an email. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully that was an informative summary as how to use your VA loan to get two or more VA loans at the same time. Uh, go ahead and check out this next video here that YouTube says you should watch. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.